Welcome to Just Too Easy Infant Tools, JIT. I'm logging in here using the sign-in dialog, but I could just as easily be using single sign-on for my learning environment. You'll see across the top here that JIT is made up of seven tools, Write, Paint, Turtle, Chart, Pictogram, Animate and Mix. We're going to start with the Write application, and you'll see that we can begin by loading a blank page or one of these colourful templates. I can type some text and then if I click here you'll see that words appropriate to the template that's been loaded appear and we can simply click to put them into the document. Moving on to the paint application, again we can start with a blank page or a template. We're going to start with this countryside scene here and I'm going to draw a tree on the page and you'll see that we can use all sorts of different uh, colours and sizes of brush to create our painting. And, uh, I'll just put uh, some thinner branches on the tree. And we're now going to mix some clip art onto the page as well. So I'll pop a dog down there. And somewhere here, I've got a nice colourful bird. I'm going to pop that on the top of the tree, like so. So having created our painting, what we want to do next is save it. Here you'll see the Save button is coloured red, showing that there's something to save. As soon as we click it, the button turns green to show that the file has been saved. And this is very interesting to note, this is typical of the thinking behind JIT, uh, that we've removed any complexity for the younger children. And when you go to load the files, you'll see that the pictures, there's the one that we've just created with the dog and the bird, and there's one I created earlier on with a fishing rod. Moving on to the turtle application, again we can load various templates. Um, this one shows a pirate ship. Uh, the one that I want to show you in this video uh, is, is the uh, wolf and the three pigs. And the idea is to move the um, turtle, so I'll click twice and then press the go button. And you'll see the turtle um, begin to obey the commands. I'm going to rotate it and move it twice again. Uh, and you'll see the, the turtle obeying the commands. And this starts to teach children the basics of uh, control and programming. And you can create your own turtles and your own scenes. Chart allows you to very simply create uh, charts. Um, again, you can start with a template. Uh, we're going to start with this uh, one of favorite colors. Uh, and you'll see that uh, as soon as I uh, type in some numbers, uh, that the charts begin to, to show. Let's type these numbers in quickly. Um, and if we want to add uh, new items, um, it's very, very simple to do. And uh, we'll have uh, two in the black column, and you'll see it there, add to the chart. Now we can mix and match uh, any of the charts uh, on the page. Maybe we want a pie chart on there and a line chart. In fact, perhaps we want all four charts. Or we may indeed just want uh, the pie chart, and we may not even want to see the data. We may just want to see the chart. And if I click on that, you'll see it expand. And so you can see just how simple it is uh, to introduce children to charts. Pictogram, again, uh, we can create a, a blank pictogram, and I'll just show you very, very briefly how easy that is. Uh, we can have as few or as many objects as we want. Uh, we can then place uh, the objects that we want um, into um, a pictogram, like so. Uh, and then, of course, we can save that as a file um, uh, for, the, for the children to work with. Or we can work with one of the predefined templates. Uh, so this one on weather, for example, uh, where the idea is to uh, click on the number of days where you've had a particular type of weather, um, like so. Animation, again, is a very simple um, application. Again, a familiar theme, but we can start with a blank page or a template. Uh, I'll start here with the, the, the ice um, template. I'm going to click on the background, and I'm going to place um, uh, a couple of uh, animals on the background. Uh, let's find uh, our friendly dog again and pop him down there. I think, yes, there's a fox just there. So th th those uh, clip those uh, animals are now on the, on the background uh, of the animation. We're going to click on the first frame, and I'm just going to do a simple painting here. I'm going to do a ball, and uh, moving on to the next frame. You'll see now that you can see um, a faint outline of uh, what had been drawn on the previous frame. 
uh, which gives you a guide as to where to put the next uh, object. Um, so we're just going to make this ball uh, bounce across between the animals. Um, we can create uh, extra frames if we need them. Uh, we can copy frames across. Um, that's going to be the final one where the fox heads it. Um, and so now uh, you'll see if I set the uh, animation playing, you'll see that it, it's going in a loop. Um, but for this particular animation, we probably want it to go backwards and forwards. So it looks like the animals are bouncing the ball between them. And we can control the speed um, that the uh, animation runs at. And we can mix uh, graphics and clip art on the page at the same time. If I just load one uh, that I produced earlier, uh, you'll see even in the template, you can see the little animation running. Uh, and if we just load that, um, you'll see um, that uh, if I set that playing, that we've got a rocket blasting off from a town scene. So finally, I want to show you the uh, Mix application. Um, the Mix application allows you to create um, many pages in a document, if you wish, uh, and you can mix applications on a page. Um, so, for example, we might want uh, a chart mixed in with uh, some text on one page. Uh, we might want uh, um, to mix uh, some writing with, with a paint tool. And we might want a whole page uh, that's just got one application on it. Um, and I'll just show you how this works uh, in practice again. Uh, here's one that, uh, that I did before. Uh, and uh, you can see that we've got a chart mixed in with some text on the first page. And on the next page, we've got a painting again mixed in with some text. And this completes the video of uh, the Just Too Easy Infant Tools JIT.